visiting now with Galen Frenzen, president of the Nebraska Academy, and obviously property taxes remains the biggest issue on the state level. You know, we've got some senators trying to work things out, but uh, our farm leaders, our egg leaders, certainly are, are have to be part of any discussion. That's right. In fact, we're, the egg leaders group is getting to, together tomorrow morning in Lincoln. You know, we talk a lot about tax relief, but do we need relief or do we need actually reform how we're funding schools? Well, anybody that knows me knows that I'm opposed to tax relief. We have to have tax reform. And it goes to the school aid uh, issue. You know, it's part of the Constitution that Nebraska has to provide free education for K-12. And the Teosa formula is broken. Everybody admits that. But it's a going to be a problem getting everybody on the same page. And that's, that's my goal is uh, just try to get the thing totally restructured, uh, a complete tax reform. That's part of the deal tomorrow. I, I don't think we want to get back ourselves in the, in the corner as we, in regards to what we will accept and won't accept, because we have no ideas what the senators are going to come with. So you need to have a little bit of flexibility so we can you know, adjust when we get there. But do you think there's an idea that we have to put some more state dollars into our schools so they don't have to rely so much on the local property taxes as a component of that? Well, definitely out here. That's where the the formula is biased towards the higher population schools like Lincoln and Omaha and, and those schools. They're happy. I mean, they're getting plenty of money, and, and they will fight their case. You know, they there's a lot of TIF funding going on, so they're losing some of the the tax base or the you know the things that are getting built right here in Grand Island. That's happening. I know there's some complaints. So it's. I just hope everybody goes in with a positive attitude that we need to get this thing fixed and uh, it's going to take a lot of compromise and if, if, we, if we have a good bill come out of this probably nobody's going to like it because everybody had a compromise. Nebraska agriculture is the envy of the world and that's what recently brought a delegation from Argentina here to learn more and TV's Alex Whitney has our story. A group of John Deere dealers from Argentina made the trip of almost 6,000 miles to learn what they can about American agriculture and how to take those lessons they learned and apply them back home in Argentina. Green Line Equipment in Grand Island hosted the group and had a chance to show them around a couple of area farms. We have a group of John Deere dealers in Argentina and several colleagues and employees from Argentina that have come to tour our dealership and see Nebraska farms and learn about how we support our customers here in Nebraska. Well, actually, uh, it's, uh, you, we came over here with dealers, so the purpose of this, this trip was to, to expose them to the American way, to the U.S. dealers' way of doing business and to learn from customers. And what we've learned is how well organized the dealers are to implement this new strategy based on machine connectivity mainly, uh, both from the precision ag side and from the connected support side. Currently, Argentina is one of the world's largest exporters of soybean products and corn, just sitting behind the United States and Brazil. With China recently implementing retaliatory tariffs against American soybean producers, countries like Argentina and Brazil are looking to increase exports to China to offset the drop in American exports. Well, someone will have to provide this food to China. So if it is not the U.S., it probably should be Argentina and Brazil that in soybeans are two big players. Probably Argentina and Brazil will benefit of this conflict between China and, and, and the U.S. But long term, the, someone will have to, to provide the, the food. It was a busy day for the Argentinians, getting a chance to tour two Nebraska farms and the Green Line equipment store in Grand Island. Today was the last day that the group was here in Nebraska, with the group starting its long journey back to Argentina tonight. Back to you. It has been hot and wet. Our grill outlook is up next. And later, we'll be at a young lady competing at this Hereford Expo for the final time. Stay with us.